Hi, what's important? What's what makes Hadapsluft WM Hadapsluft WM? Where are the configuration files? Control H. So go to your home directory, make sure your hidden files are no, no longer hidden, right? And in the dot config, there is an Hadapsluft WM that you should put over here so we can easily get to it. And there's another one, the SXHQD, that you'll want to have as well, because it contains all our keyboard shortcuts. Control Shift, uh, Control Alt T, and Control Shift Firefox F, and so on. So everything has been again uh, made. The shortcuts have been created, and they will be recognized by your fingers because it's finger memory that we're relying on. All these keyboard shortcuts are the same on any of our Arch Linux desktops, 15 of them by now. So, Hadapsluft WM contains these files. Um, what can you do, what I suggest you do, you could open it with other um, editors, of course, you can install more editors. Open with Atom is what I'm gonna do, but there is a tip. Why just open one file if you can open actually a total project, I mean, add a project folder. You can say, give me the whole folder and I'll take a look at it. Yes, open it. And then this one goes away with super Q. And now we can actually just have a look at all the things that make up uh, Hadapsluft. Another tip is super F full screen. So now I can show you guys and zoom in with my scroll key by the mouse, huh? then you can have a look at all the settings of the system overview at this point in time. The Compton Conf, which we have explained already. If you want to have a transparency in VirtualBox, you have to type Control F, Virtual, Enter, and it says here, put a hashtag here, and then you have transparency in VirtualBox. This is the thing that's actually the file for Herbs Luft WM. This is the thing you're gonna change. In the beginning, it's still some normal stuff. Launch me this, launch me that. But here, actually, the Herbs Luft WM configuration starts. And the others are scripts to toggle between Compton, Compton off and Compton off, uh, on and off. I mean, meaning transparent, on, not transparent, for example. And the PyWall, uh, maybe you know that one, the PyWall is to make um, terminals a little bit nicer in color. So it follows the coloring of the wallpaper. And this is just some information. If people get stuck with uh, screen modes in your virtual box, then you can add it. You can say to the system, I do have 1920 and 1080 and so on. There's a way how to do it. All right, so this is the setup. And the last thing I need to say in the video super f that's this one and this one is going to take all the all the keyboard shortcuts and it's an our choice that we've made to keep it in these guys it's interesting to have a file a particular file that we can use and reuse like in bspwm like maybe in qtile in the future like etc etc if we can copy paste this to gwm which we're going to develop at some point in time and so many other tiling window managers wouldn't that be great one file to edit and to maintain so all the keyboard shortcuts that we use um control alt next the rotate con key is the atom control w etc etc all these are here and here's the pie wall so all the most important keyboard shortcuts are here, but there are of course other keyboard shortcuts, well, that are specific to this desktop. There always will be something specific. And they can be in here, or they shall be in here. You really see here all kinds of keyboard. Key bindings is the word, keyboard sh shortcut. Um, that's what we're gonna look in the next video.